Hi, I'm still Ed Greenwood, publisher and president of the Ed Greenwood Group, or TEG for short. Welcome to another This Week at TEG. I am very pleased to announce the winner of our The Ed Greenwood Group Games Contest to write a Forgotten Realms adventure for publications through the Dungeon Masters Guild, like everything else Forgotten Realms, with me, the founder of the realms. Picking a winner was not easy. The nine pitches left standing at the end were all excellent. Every one of them is worthy of publication, and uh, we're scheming about that right now. But, as has been said before, and in other contexts, in the end, there can be only one. So I have had to pick a winner. And my choice is... Rattle the Saber, Shake the Spear by Clinton Cronk. Congratulations, Clinton, and we'll be in touch soon. And if you entered the contest and your name is not Clinton Cronk, be of stout heart. We may be contacting you anyway. Some of the adventure proposals were so close to winning that we believe the finished adventures should be shared with realms gamers everywhere. So congratulations, Clinton. Thanks to everyone who entered the contest. And realms gamers, look forward to some great adventures in the near future. Or the far future. In the future. Thank you. So in Helmaw this week, our featured title is Blind Justice by Eric Scott Deby. FBI profiler Maria Ruiz is done. Over a long career of being called in to consult on bizarre murders, she has chased the worst of humanity, scoured the depths of evil, and seen the limits of mortal justice. Once she finishes up her last few cases, she plans to leave the whole mess behind her. When she connects two widely separated assignments, however, she knows something strange is happening. She becomes convinced she's following a mysterious common link. Some sort of assassin who's stalking high-profile targets, accused rapers, serial abusers, killers, corrupt politicians, men, all of them who have seemingly escaped justice. And as the bodies pile up, Ruiz comes closer and closer to catching the killer, who just might not be from this world. Sound interesting? Get it by following the link below. Hello there. Chris A. Jackson here. I'm uh, author for TEGG and among other publishers and for myself as well. And I've been asked to um, jump in and talk a little bit about my latest project for the Ed Greenwood Group. Um, that would be in the um, Storm Talents universe, which is a high fantasy universe. And since I am the pirate guy, I wrote a pirate novel. Um, the Queen's Scourge is not your typical pirate novel. Um, there's whips involved. Uh, but it's not a BDSM novel. Um, it is about freedom. So um, this is a little bit different bent on the pirate novel, um, but it's something I took close to heart. Um, if you think about pirates, what do they want most in life? And that answer has to be freedom. They want to be their own masters. Well, what happens when you have a pirate who is not, but doesn't know it? And that is the crux of the whole novel. Never enslave a pirate. It's a bad idea, okay? So that's the crux of the novel. Um, the Storm Talons universe is really fun to work with. Um, I got free reign to do a lot of interesting things. Um, different twist on magic. And the Storm Talons themselves are a, um, a mist that surrounds um, the explored areas and tends to turn people into 
strange things when they venture into the mists, or might give them boons as well. So it's an interesting world to work in, and I hope you um, have a look at the Queen's Scourge. It's uh, not your typical pirate novel, as they say. So tune in and have fun and read on. And that brings me to Onder Magazine. This week, we're shining the spotlight on Issue 5, which explores music. And in Onder Magazine 5, you'll find... me. I'll share some insights about my own musical life journey and the legacy of music in the Forgotten Realms. There'll be discourse upon the harmonies and dissonances between writing stories and composing music. Issue 5 also presents Part 3, the finale, of your project in the ancient craft of chainmail. There's also a creative profile of Sasori member Suzanne Church, and more metafiction from the story worlds of Helmaw and Storm Talons. There's also comics, book and game reviews, and more! Interested? Follow the link below. And that brings me to Onda Radio, which continues its weekly schedule with episode 14, airing May 25th. This episode includes announcements of new Game of Thrones spin-offs, the Witcher Netflix series, and more, including a review of the popular card game Red Flags, and an exclusive interview with cosplay designer Teresa Scales, who sits down with Lyric Goins to talk about how cosplay influences the world of geekery. Interested? Follow the link below. And no This Week at Teg is complete without Out and About, wherein we learn where in the world Sasoria members will be publicly appearing and what they'll be doing. And here's Sasoria member Chadwick Ginther to catch us up on what he'll be doing this week. Hi, my name is Chadwick Ginther. Uh, I've written a Storm Talons novel for the Ed Greenwood group. Unfortunately, I can't talk to you too much about that yet because it hasn't released, but I am pretty excited for you to be able to read it someday soon. Um, what I'm here on this week at TAG to talk about is uh, FanQuest. And FanQuest is a new convention that's happening in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, May 26th through 28th. They have funded themselves with a Kickstarter and everybody is pretty excited to have them. Uh, there's going to be some Star Wars 40th anniversary celebrations, D&D improv, and uh, among a lot of the other uh, cool programming, uh, they're doing uh, Creator's Bazaar, which is where you will find me. Uh, I'm going to be uh, at my table selling copies of my Thunder Road trilogy and various anthologies that I have short stories within. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, my Storm Talons book isn't available to uh, to sell this weekend, but I will be talking uh, talking it up and uh, talking up Tag to anybody who will listen to me. So uh, thanks for having me on this week at Tag Ed, and uh, have a great week. And something's happening in Maryland this week that Cesorium stalwarts Dave Robinson and Chris A. Jackson are both attending. Here's Chris to tell us all about it. Hey there everyone, Chris A. Jackson here. I'm uh, with the Ed Greenwood Group and I'm talking to you about where I'm going to be in the near future. I'm going to be at Balticon this Memorial Day weekend in downtown Baltimore. Uh, and what am I going to be doing there? I am going to be uh, giving a reading on Friday night. Um, might actually be a poetry narration, who knows, could be anything. Um, on uh, Saturday I'm going to be talking about world building. Um, the difference in novels versus RPGs, and um, also about biology as a science. Uh, I am a scientist. <laughs> Hard to believe, right? But I am. Um, also, on Sunday, um, hybrid publishing, of which I also do. I publish for myself as well as regular publishers. Um, and on uh, Monday, it will be non-Western supernatural creatures and their place in fantasy fiction which is something that isn't often talked about. You know, you have your dragons, your elves, etc., etc., etc. But, you know, there's other critters out there. So it's going to be fun. I hope you drop by. There's lots to do in downtown Baltimore, and Balticon has been around for 51 years now. So drop by and see me. 
Hope to see you soon. Bye. And from May 26th through May 29th, the fair city of Seattle is hosting the annual PaizoCon. The convention celebrating Pathfinder and all the other great game things Paizo brings us. Sasori member Gabrielle Harbawi will be there. To find out more, it's time to, yes, follow the link below. And that brings us to this week's giveaway. The first 100 customers this week who purchase the ebook of the Storm Talons novel Queen's Scourge by Chris A. Jackson, there's a link below to do that, can also grab a free ebook of the very first Storm Talons novel, Words of Unbinding by me. Yes, it's a great book. I put lots of words into it, and you can get it by using the coupon code SCOURGE. That's all one word, lowercase, S-C-O-U-R-G-E. Yes, got it? Scourge. Use it before midnight, that's Eastern Time Zone midnight, folks, on the 28th of May. That's this year's 28th of May, 2017. Hmm. And that's this week's giveaway. Enjoy! <laughs>